Hi everyone, welcome to this episode of Kuiper Labs. Um, in this video, we're going to be discussing the structure of the atom. So thinking a, a little bit more generally, just as, as an introductory kind of picture of how an atom looks, um, and so some of the, the general kind of parts. Okay, so what we have, an atom has a center, and so this center we call the nucleus. Okay, it's the same word that we use for the center of a cell. And so, and what we have for the outside the atom, so the, the nucleus is made up of two um, types of smaller little pieces inside it. Okay, so we have protons, so little particles called protons, which have a positive charge, and neutrons, which have a zero charge. And then around the outside, let's see if I can switch colors up the production values just that little bit. We have um, electrons, okay? And these electrons are orbiting around this nucleus. So this up here is our electron. So this is where electrons would be, and they have a minus charge. So we've got three, so this this center is called the nucleus, um, and then orbiting around it we have these particles of electrons, okay? So we've got three types of subatomic particles. So little pieces contained inside the atom that are smaller than the rest of the atom. So we've got protons, neutrons, and electrons. Okay, protons are positive, neutrons are zero, neutral, and electrons are negative. Okay, now I realize that that's just kind of transcribing some of the things from the diagram there, but just kind of, you know, listing them there to help you to remember their names and, and kind of where they are. And so what, the, the reason that we, we care about this is not only because chemistry is amazing, but also because, um, we need to get a bit of a better handle on, on how we perceive the atom to be, how, how our, our atomic model works, so that we can understand a bit more about different elements and pounds. We can understand more about how these ideas have changed through history, as well as then um, being able to understand, okay, well, why do we believe what we believe about this? So what we, um, the, one of the, the, the key things here is that the deciding factor, or one of the most important aspects of an atom, is the number of protons. Because the number of protons dictates which element that atom belongs to. So the idea is that so that it's a unique number, um, and so that it's a whole number. So it's you know we don't get one and three quarter protons, one two three etc. Um, the biggest one that we have created um, doesn't exist naturally, but we have created has 118 protons. That's that where we're, our maximum is at the moment. But as technology improves, as research develops, I'm sure that we'll, we'll push beyond that. Okay, but so that number of protons dictates um, what the element is, and we give this number of protons number a a name. We call it the atomic number. Okay, so the atomic number of an atom or of an element is the number of protons. Okay, we'll explore that a little bit further in, in a, a future video. But just seeing that in terms of actually what this general structure is like and what's important about it, um, the, the three kind of pieces of the puzzle, um, the three kind of the building blocks of an atom um, that we look at, um, we will see and again in a future video how with these numbers vary, like how, how they kind of connect together, um, and also a little bit more about, you know, where they are and, and so on. But for now, we're just kind of, we're working from a, a simple kind of starting point. We're recognizing that the number of protons that's inside the nucleus di dictates or decides or relates to which element that atom belongs to, and that, that we call its atomic number. Okay, and so that the reason that, um, you know, way that we can find out information like that is that say we look at like a periodic table and so a periodic table will have a couple of bits of information so this one corresponds to hydrogen 
and it might look something like that. Okay, so like a box, we've got H for hydrogen, that symbol, we've got its name written underneath. We have a one up in the, the top somewhere, maybe above this or in the top corner, and then we've got this number down here, 1.008. Okay, we'll go into what this one means a little bit, bit further, but um, this number one up here is our atomic number. Okay, so it's the whole number that we're looking for um, that, that relates to how many protons that there are. Okay, so we can see our symbol. As I mentioned, we can see the name. And then what we have down here is called its mass number. Okay, but so we'll go through over atomic and mass number um, in a future video. Okay, so just a quick recap, just to, to finish up. So the structure of an atom, we have a piece in the middle and then some stuff around the outside. Okay, the piece in the middle we call the nucleus. Um, and inside the nucleus are two smaller building blocks called protons and neutrons. These things have a, a, a charge to them, positive for protons, neutral or zero for neutrons. Around the outside or around the nucleus, we um, talk about electrons being these particles that are orbiting around, like planets around the sun, um, and that we have a negative, they have a negative charge. Okay, so these we refer to as our subatomic particles. Okay, um, <clears throat> the number of protons is really important in that nucleus that helps us to identify which element it is. We call it the, its atomic number for that element. Um, it's a whole number from one to one, somewhere between one and 118 at this stage. And that we can identify some of these key pieces of information in the squares on the periodic table. All right, thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.